Hi, welcome back everyone. Today is the 18th of February 2021. And today's topic will be about a double wheel strategy that I do on new stock. I currently already have some position in new and yesterday I opened one more put position that expire next week selling a 50 put for 55 cent. So what exactly is a double wheel strategy? Let's look at the traditional wheel trade cycle. Basically in stage one, you don't have a stock, so you sell a put. And if the put expire, you go back to stage one because you have no stock as the put expire. So you repeat the process. But when your put is assigned, you own 100 share. So you sell a call. If the call expire, you go back to stage two because you still own 100 share. So you continue the stage two until such a time that your call get exercised. When your call get exercised, you go back to stage one. Then you got no stock and you continue to sell your put. That is a wheel trade life cycle. So what is a double wheel? A double wheel is similar to a single wheel strategy. It's just that at stage two, when you own 100 share, you sell a call and you sell a put. So now we are selling one additional put. And if the put is expire, then we go back to stage two and we continue to sell call, sell put. And if the put is assigned, then we are own 200 share. Then we are sell two call. So that is a double wheel strategy. Let's take a look at my new trade. This is currently my new trade for last year until this year. So on the 12th of February, which is this week, I sell a 64 call because I own 100 share at $58 since 19th of January. So I've been selling call all this while and I did a trade yesterday selling a put at 50 strike for 55 cents. That make a double wheel because I already own 100 share and I sell an additional put. But bearing in mind that you have to be prepared. If new were to drop below 50, then I would have to own 200 share of new. Of course, the price would be 54 because I'm selling a 50 strike. And now I'm long 58. So the average long for me will be $54 if new were to drop below 50. And if that happened, then I'll be selling two call. And if that does not happen, which means that the put expire, then I will sell a call and a put. But if new were to go up, then my call get exercised, then I'll back to no share, then we are basically back to the stage one when we have no stock. So this is basically the double wheel strategy and this is the double wheel trade life cycle. You can look at it as a double wheel or in fact you can look at it two wheel running at the same time. Because if I have a new stock, I'm running a wheel strategy. This is the new stock. And if I do another stock, a bling, I got a bling going on that I'm selling a put, 45 put. That is two wheel on two different stock. But for my new, I have long 100 share and I'm selling a call and I'm selling a put. You can look at it as it is having two different set of new but running two times on the new stock or you can look at it as a double wheel because that is a one stock. So I sell a call and I sell a put. The powerful of the double wheel is that you are getting two premium. 
when you are at stage two, you are getting two premium. Then why don't we just sell two put at stage one? Because there is time that you want to average down. Because at stage one, you are selling only one put, and then if you are assigned, then you decided that you want to get in at a better price. But the fundamental or the outlook must still be bullish. Because if you are bearish, then you should not continue the trade at all. So fundamentally, I'm still bullish on new. And I want to lower my average price for the stock. So I decided to sell an extra put and get in an extra premium. In fact, for my new trade, my average price right now is $50.12. And the new currently is trading at $57.23. So even if I were to close out all my new position, I will have made $700 from this position from 28th of December to 17th of February in less than two months. I make $700. That is okay, but I want to continue the trade because I'm still bullish. But if I have turned bearish on new, then I will square off everything on the new trade. That is the topic for today, double wheel trade strategy. And just a little bit update on the market because I have a lot of option that is expiring tomorrow. Friday, 19th of February. And there's quite a number of positions that I'm going to get assigned. AMD, I sell a 92 put and most likely I will get a sign on AMD and for the Blink is pretty close because I have a 45 put and right now Blink is at 47 so that is pretty close. I may get a sign and I have a lot of other trade and some of the trade has been going against me like Peloton that I just opened up and right now I'm having a loss of $200 on Peloton because this put option expire next week but I'm prepared to hold the stock and Palantir Palantir is also against me because I sell a 25 put but this put expire next week and right now the Palantir is already at $26.93 but again I'm prepared to own Palantir so I will just keep all this but I will continue to update my trade as we progress along and my account did suffer a little bit of losses today i think part of the reason is because i have a lot of technology stock and the nasdaq has been coming down even though the dow jones and the s p 500 has been going up pretty strongly but the nasdaq has been coming down the last few days but that is trading and losses is just part and parcel of the game. And I will continue to update my trade. And if you like the video, please subscribe and share the video. Thank you very much everyone for your time. I will see you in the next video when I have another update or another topic.